Hello everyone and welcome to the weird, scary and horrible parts of humanity. Today we are going to explore the murder of a guest following the broadcast of their appearance on the Jerry Springer show. Jerry! 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 The expression itself has become synonymous with trash TV and some of the worst memories of the 1990s. Broadcast on the 30th of September 1991 until the 26th of July 2018 for 27 years, 26 years in syndication with the final series and reruns airing on the CW, the Jerry Springer Show, hosted by former mayor of Cincinnati, Ohio, Jerry Springer, became one of the most popular daytime talk shows in the United States of America, dethroning the queen of daytime TV, Oprah Winfrey, in 1991. 97 and 1998 as the number one ranked daytime TV show in the United States of America, with viewership averaging 9.75 million. Initially focusing on political issues, it was a train wreck in the ratings and became synonymous with trash TV in a bid to increase ratings by focusing on more controversial issues, particularly in the mid to late 1990s, including a man who cut his penis off, a man who married a horse, the KKK, incest, infidelity, gangbangs, and porn stars. By its end, however, broadcast on the CW, it was a shell of its former self, and many were glad to see it go. However, Exposing people's dirty secrets and laundry on national and international television isn't the greatest thing to do for their mental health and can result in murder. 52-year-old Nancy Campbell Banitz of Sarasota, Florida was a victim of domestic abuse and her former husband, 40-year-old Ralph Banitz, was courting another woman, 45-year-old Eleanor Banitz. Campbell Banitz had a son from a previous relationship Gary Campbell, who lived in Kalamazoo, Michigan. She married Ralph in October 1997. The pair divorced after 15 months of marriage in February 1999. Campbell Benitz had taken a restraining order out against her ex-husband while he had filed a slew of domestic violence allegations against his wife. In May 2000, hoping to reconcile with her former husband, Campbell Panitz went on the Jerry Springer show with Ralph and Eleanor. Producers of the show, however, had other plans, and in line with the circus atmosphere of the show, aimed for the trio to start fighting, which was indeed the case. The day before the show was to be filmed in Chicago, Illinois, Ralph had sex with Nancy. He was hiding a secret from his ex-wife, which was to be revealed the next day. During the show called Secret Mistresses Confronted, Campbell Panitz asked Eleanor to leave herself and her husband alone. Eleanor called her old and fat and the trio, per the wishes of Jerry Springer producers, fought constantly with each other. Campbell Panitz was accused of stalking the pair. But most shockingly of all for Campbell Panitz, the pair announced that they were already married, which she was unaware of. The audience joined in with Ralph and Eleanor and shouted that Campbell Panitz was old and fat. In the end, Jerry Springer turned to Campbell Panitz and said, He's telling you he doesn't want to be with you. She then replied, That's fine, bye, and walked off stage. Other guests reported that while riding in the limousine from the production studios of the Jerry Springer show to the Chicago O'Hara International Airport, Eleanor stated that she wished that Campbell Panitz was dead. Bizarrely, the trio continued to live together and share a house in Sarasota while they fought over legal possession of the house. Ralph continued to share both women and would spend one night with Eleanor and one night with Campbell Panitz. Prior to the airing of the show, a Sarasota pizza shop waitress reported hearing Ralph tell her that he would choke the life out of his ex-wife when talking about the Jerry Springer show. On the 24th of July 2000, Campbell Benitz had a court order indicted barring Ralph from living in the shared home, forcing him to leave. On the same day, three months after production, the episode of The Jerry Springer Show, which featured the trio, aired. A few hours after the show aired, Campbell Panitz was found badly beaten on the kitchen floor of a Sarasota home, with Ralph and Eleanor nowhere to be found. It was evident to police that she had been murdered with her body beaten beyond recognition. 
Ralph's DNA was found under the fingernails of Campbell Benitz. Eventually, the couple were tracked to Boston, Massachusetts, where they surrendered. It turned out that they were planning on crossing the border into Canada. Police then found blood belonging to Campbell Panitz on Ralph's shoes. Brought back to Florida, Ralph was trialed with second degree murder. It is widely believed that the court order evicting him from his home rather than the airing of the Jerry Springer show was the catalyst for the murder of Campbell Panitz. Ralph was eventually convicted of second degree murder and violating a domestic violence order. Eleanor stood by her husband throughout his court proceedings. However, she was never charged and vowed that her husband was innocent and did not kill his ex-wife. On the 27th of May 2002, Benitz received a life sentence for his ex-wife's murder. In July 2002, Gary Campbell attempted to sue Jerry Springer, his producers and his distributor at the time, Studios USA Television Distribution. However, this was eventually dropped by Campbell Benitz's estate. Thank you for watching. Please do yourself a favor and hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to inform you when new videos come out. Also, why not hit that like button and leave a nice comment? It helps more than you know and your support is truly appreciated. Until next time, stay awesome, stay classy, be kind to everyone you meet and have an amazing day.